Hey guys, it's Zach. Thanks for tuning into my channel. And today is a short video about password security. And um, this video was actually inspired uh, from a Vsauce video, and I'll post a link to the specific one. Uh, it's it's part of the Do Online Now Guys uh, series. And one of the things was that you could type in your password on this how is secure is my password dot net uh, website and uh, it'll tell you how long it'll take a supercomputer to uh, or a desktop computer to crack your password so if you enter in password it'll be cracked almost instantly but if you throw in some extra characters it says a desktop PC will take 22 minutes to uh, crack your password let's do one of my original passwords that I used to use 13 days oh not bad but as this gets longer, you'll see that it gets up to billions of years. I mean, if you had that 16 character password right there, uh, the universe would end before a desktop PC cracked it. So when I was looking at this, it kind of inspired me like, oh, well, let me try to program my own password cracker and see how long it would actually take to calculate this. And so what I did was I made a little ignition template. And here it is. All it does is you enter your password here and you press solve and it'll output the password here so to show you that working right now I just have AA and right there it is passwords AA and I, in the console I printed out some statistics it took 3420 attempts and 0.444 seconds to uh, find that password let's try an easier one just A does that in 36 attempts 0.002 seconds so let's see how accurate that is compared to the password cracker so AA would take 0.00000169 seconds so obviously my program isn't as efficient as it could be or maybe it's the Python I'm not sure um, but let me know what you guys think uh, is there a better way to do this um, you know how would you pro program a password cracker I'll let you guys see how I did it right now and um, I'm going to upload this template once this video is uploaded to Cloud Templates so you can download it and take a look at the source code yourself. Um, but basically what I started out was I created a list of all possible characters. And let's see here. And I separated it out into mul multiple lists so I can uh, you know, have the numbers, the uppers, the lowers, and the specials. And then I add all those lists together into cars or characters. Um, and then I well, initially I was just looping through that list and trying each one, but then I realized that that wasn't going to work because I'd have to have nested for loops. And depending on how long the password was, I'd have to have that many nested for loops. And so I just scrapped that idea. What I ended up doing instead was I'm like, all right, well, I just want to try the zero password. Then I want to try the first password, the second password, so forth and so on. So what I realized I needed to do was I needed to convert an integer that's base 10 that I could just increment to a base 92 or however many characters I have. So this is my new base, which is the length of the characters. And I'm starting out, uh, the number of attempts is equal to zero. I bring in the password. Um, and then uh, basically right here, I do a checking to make sure it's not zero first. Uh, the, the base, I found this um, number to base converter. And basically it, it does a if, che uh, if check if the um, number is zero, then just return zero. So I didn't want it to do that each loop. So I'm checking it up here first to make sure it's not an empty string. Or if the password is zero, then we're gonna just return it automatically. But after that, we're gonna we're gonna try the first password, which in this case would be not zero, but it'd be one. So the index one would be just the password one. And then if that doesn't work. We're gonna increment, you know, our number, and in this in this while loop right here. So we have, and I'm limiting it to 99 million 999,999 attempts, uh, so I don't blow up my computer. <laughs> but yeah, so this is this is the basic number to base conversion right here, and uh, basically um, it takes n and it finds the modulus, the remainder of n divided by the base, and it appends that to a list, and then it divides n uh, into b so and then it returns those digits in reverse order see that minus one right there is from the end to the beginning 
Um, so basically we get a list of, of um, characters. Um, in this case, it's base 94, I think. And then we loop through each of those characters in the list and we uh, add it to a word. Um, so here's the, you know, the characters at index X, which is that from that based conversion function gives us the index that we need. So, you know, index zero, index five, index, index 92 gives us a list of characters. And then we're each time we're checking to see if the password equals the word that we've generated. And if it is, then we, you know, we print it out right here and else otherwise we increment and so it's, it ends up working pretty nicely, but you know, there's probably some optimization that I can do. Um, I'm sure there's like way more advanced password cracking theories out there, but this is what I was able to accomplish and I had some fun doing it. Um, and if you guys are interested, like I said, I'll post this on cloud templates, but here's just how that really the, the function works. Uh, for the the base number to base so I have it here in a script console so let's say I wanted to convert the number 245 to base 8 and each time I'm going to print out what these numbers are so you can kind of see it working so um, as you can see 245 into base 8 is going to be 365 so the first loop the modulus of n divided by b 245 divided by 8 it goes in uh, 30 times. No, it goes in five. The, the remainder is five, and it goes in 30 times, because right here, n divided equals b. So 245 divided by eight, n becomes 30. So then the next time we do 30 modulus b, and b always is eight. So that's a remainder of six. Now the new n is three. And then the last time, um, you know, n, n is three, it goes in zero times, so the new n becomes zero. And then we take this 563 and we reverse it. And right here we print out that list, 365. Um, I, I found this this little function on numbers, uh, uh, flow over stack. So, um, you know, I didn't write this myself, but I, I did come to the realization that doing a number to base conversion was gonna be the best way to solve this. And this little function, it works pretty well. Um, you know, you could use this for any type of base conversion, like converting, you know, base 10 to base 8 for like certain, you know, addressing schemes or whatever, whatever the function may be. In this case, I've used it for a password cracker. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys uh, learned something or, you know, make your own password cracker better or, yeah. Um, oh, also, there's one more interesting video. Uh, it's from Numberphile and they kind of go over how uh, Google and Twitter they use uh, and banks they use this secure encryption to basically encrypt data and I found it really interesting so I'll post a link to that as well in the description and yeah check it out uh, thanks for watching